How's it going everybody? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you all today as always. Hope you're all having a beautiful day. Wherever you guys might be today, we are going to continue our climb to diamond in rank 1v1 season 20. As you can see, I already have an ELO rating of 1797, which puts me at platinum 2. And uh, yeah, I thought today would be a good day to play some Aurora Brin. Gold Forged Aurora Brin. And uh, yeah, because, you know, to celebrate the fact that Aurora Brin is here, basically, you know? Aurora Brin is the final skin you get in the Battle Pass, which we did get, but I never really uh, used her in ranked 1v1 yet. And, you know, if you've been watching my channel a long time, you know that Aurora Brin, or rather, Brin, used to be my main. You know, before I started maining all legends, I used to main Bryn, and because of that, she's my highest level legend, which is level 51. That may not seem too high to some of you, because I know a lot of people have level 100 legends, but consider the fact that I have every legend in the game, at least level 25, and black colors unlocked. So, yeah, I think my total legend levels is something like 1,600, but my highest level is only 51. But today, we're going to give Brynn a little bit of spotlight. We're going to give Goldforged Aurora Brynn the spotlight. And we're going to play some ranked 1v1s, hopefully get some wins. And if you guys enjoy this content, please do me a favor and gently hit that like button. Here we go. Alright, he has honor, letting us get a weapon after I let him get the weapon. Very nice. Pretty good so far. And he made it back. Not a problem. Nice dodge on that. This guy is a very good dodger, I give him credit. Oh, he shouldn't have done that though. Alright, Orion. Boom! Right in the face, let's go. He's really good at dodging and not dying. <laughs> like, he, he got hit off the edge many times and he still made it back, you know what I mean? I respect it. Oof. I couldn't really get there because of that platform being in my way, but otherwise I really wanted to punish him, but yep. I love that he's gold forged as well. Like, we're having a gold forged battle here. Do you guys like that? Because it looks pretty awesome to me. There we go, there we go. We got almost a full stock advantage here. He is on his final stock. At this point, we're gonna weapon starve as best we can while doing a little bit of damage in the process. Looks like he's doing just as much damage to us. He likes to do my uh, jump reads, so I gotta be very careful about that. Got him with the space horse! And again! Look at his ability to get back on stage though. That's, that's a really good ability. Nice one, nice one. I knew if he keep throwing out that neutral sig, eventually I'm gonna get hit. It's just such a fast move that comes out and has a big hitbox. All 
All right, knock the weapon out. And we're looking pretty good. Missed the weapon throw. Got that. All right, GG, dude, GG. That was pretty good. I give him a lot of credit, man. That's a good Orion. And I love the gold forge too. Oh, you see his flag? That means he's been diamond like. Oof, that's a lot. That's like 13 or something. Hey, we got platinum too. Let's go. Let's see what that avatar is, because I think I have that same one. Uh, let's see. That avatar. Oh, actually, no, it's more like tier 7 or something, because. Yeah, okay. My highest uh, tier diamond avatar is tier 18. That means I've been diamond 18 seasons. It's pretty awesome. Uh, but I'm going to go back to using the spring avatar. Actually, let's use a songbird. I like it. All right, that's all good. That all looks good. All right, let's just keep going back into it. Actually, I think I'm going to go base stance this time. Just a tiny bit more defense, a little bit more balanced on the stats. If you guys enjoy Brawlhalla content and you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I'm always putting it out there and it's fun to do. This, oh, ooh, ooh, gummy. Oh, this is going to be a tough battle. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm pretty sure this guy is super good though. And I'm always scared of uh, fighting a Bodvar, so. Man, look at my axe. It looks so clean. How did I not pick up my weapon there? Almost got him. I gotta be really careful and just keep hoping that he throws out six because Every time he does, he leaves himself wide open. I love throwing out the space horse mostly just for the looks. It's actually hard to hit with. Nice, nice, nice. Told you he's good. I told you he's good. All right, we got a good advantage though. Got a good a damage advantage. Gotta be careful. There it is, that chase dodge into side sig. Get some every time. Sig. Nope, that was a neutral side. Oh, we gotta get him with that down sig, I feel like. Maybe not. And reverse neutral sig. Oh, that would have been sick if I actually hit him with that. GG dude, GG. Got the two stock. Feels good. There's a little bit higher elo than us, which is always a good thing. That means that we we got a nice chunk. Look at that, plus 19. Whew. That is a nice chunk. We got an axe KO, some spear heavy damage. I haven't even looked at these uh, challenges. Oh wow, play a custom match through the public room browser. Interesting, very interesting. Let's keep it locked in. So far so good. At this point, even if I lose a game, I'll probably end up positive for the video. And that's, that's usually what I aim for, you know, like whenever I'm playing ranked, I always try to go positive for the session. Do you guys do that as well? Like. Like if I lose a couple games, then that means I can't stop playing until I get that elo I lost back. You know what I mean? <laughs> but at the same time, if you're not like super uh, experienced in the game, like back when I wasn't as good, I would basically do that. But if I started losing like lots of times, like more than like three times, 
I would just take a break, like straight up. Better to take a break than, you know, just keep losing, 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 basically. Oh wow, that axe! <laughs> that axe sniped him, man. I normally don't weapon starve, but since I'm playing ranked, I do weapon starve. Anything goes in ranked, basically. Otherwise, you know, I like to fight when the other person has a weapon as well. You know what I mean? Ooh, that side sig is so scary. Got a nice chunk of damage there. Looking pretty good. We're doing great, to be honest. Looking at a three stock almost. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. But it, it worked out. Never just do like a sig when they're far away. Like, they're just going to punish it every time. Or at least it gives them the opportunity to punish. And good players don't waste opportunities. Like, especially when you're trying to get to diamond. This is a bad matchup for Val, I feel like, because my weapons just outrange her most of the time. I should do a side sig every now and then instead of a down sig. I keep expecting them to, like, just jump on top, but... She always is staying right out of range. How about the horse? Okay, maybe not. Oh, I meant to do a ground pound, but I hit the platform there. With the axe, you just gotta keep on throwing out those light attacks. And eventually you will hit something. Come on, space horse! I really wanna hit with that. At this point, it's probably game. She gotta go for that that horn, right? I really wanna hit with the side sig. Yes! Yes! I hit it once, alright. I also need side sig KOs, I think, unless I already- Oh, man. <laughs> I thought I was gonna hit that. Unless I already finished that mission. Alright, I'm in white. She's got a reverse three stock challenge happening. She has to kill me right here to get the reverse three stock. Do you think she'll do it? I respect her for even getting this close, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be hard for her to do, but not impossible. Yeah, that's game. GG dude, GG. That was actually, you know, pretty close. I got a little bit careless there at the end, let her climb back into the game. But it's all good. We got the win at the end, that's all that matters. She was a little bit lower than us, so we only got plus 16 ELO. Not a big deal. Um, I don't think I need... Hit opponents with slide-charged heavy attacks. Okay, that's what it is. I need a slide-charged heavy attack. All right, I'll probably do one more game here, at least. Also, guys, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it is at Lucian's underscore sword. All right, going against Elusive Script, a Lord Vax. Ooh, I like to see it. You don't see too many people playing Lord Vax, except for Skills WG. He's the only guy I know. And even now, he hasn't been playing Lord Vax recently because, you know, the Reno to, to uh, Black Colors, and then he's been playing other legends, I guess. But, in his heart, skills will always be a Lord Vax main, you know what I'm saying? How did I not hit with that? I'll never understand it. Bryn, Bryn has always, like, been kind of easy for me because she's my highest, you know, level. I've, I've played her the most. Although I haven't played her a whole lot recently, it, it just doesn't go away. You know, it's like riding a bike, kind of. You just never forget it once you know it. And uh, for those of you that feel like you're frustrated, like you're not getting better, I would just say just keep practicing. You will get better over time. Even if it doesn't feel like it, you are getting better. Just the way that the human brain works. The more you do something, those 
neurons or whatever in your brain get stronger and stronger, and you will get better at it. You learn by, by trying, basically. And doing it over and over. Also, just try to like incorporate weapon throws every now and then. See how it just stuns him long enough for me to pick it back up and then hit him again? Ooh, that was a nice chase into the recovery. We were almost looking at another three stock, so let's let's learn our lesson from last game and not let this guy get back into the game. Easier said than done sometimes, but that's the goal anyway. Always stay aggressive, even if you have a big lead. And don't be scared to take some risky plays. Like, when I throw out SIGs, it's, it's not that I just am SIG spamming, really. I'm just throwing out a risky shot that might work. And it also just makes them scared of me. <laughs> GG, dude, GG. You'll never hit some crazy plays if you never try doing those crazy plays. You know what I mean? Wow. All right, that was a really... Hmm, what's the word? Efficient session in ranked 1v1. Very efficient session. We didn't hardly lose, and I don't... I don't think we were ever really losing a match. Um, let me know in the comments if you want me to go Aurora Brynn all the way to Diamond or just, you know, any other legend because, like I say, I play them all and I'm pretty decent with most legends. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. And as always, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, friends.